Hi guys, today I'm going to do a review of Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Morillier. So I reread Daughter of the Forest this month. This was for my book club as it was the main pick and I was really excited because as you've known if you've watched a few of my videos, Daughter of the Forest is actually one of my favourite books of all time. Probably my, probably the best one for me. Um, so it was exciting revisiting this world, revisiting the characters, and I had such a lovely time doing it too. So I'll tell you a little bit about the plot, I won't spoil too much. Um, basically it is a retelling of Six Wands, which is a fairy tale, and it is about a young girl called Soraka, who lives in medieval Ireland, and she is the daughter of a nobleman from the Seven Waters clan. Basically the gist of the fairy tale or how it plays out in this novel is that the father remarries and the stepmother turns out to be a sorceress who ends up cursing her six brothers and turning them into swans. And now it's Soraka's task to help her brothers by becoming silent. She cannot tell anyone her story. Um, she cannot speak a word, utter any sound and she has to make her brothers six shirts them to wear for them to turn back into humans. Now these shirts are not normal shirts, they're not made out of cotton, they're not made of polyester, nothing that will make it easier for her to cr create. They're actually made out of this thing which in this novel is called um, starlet or spindle bush and it's this really horrible plant with thorns that completely ruin you. That they're so painful and she has to weave her brother's shirts out of this painful thing that will disfigure her hands. So basically that's her journey. She has to persevere, be strong, go through all sorts of troubles to help her brothers and this is probably why I absolutely love Soraka and I'm in awe of her and probably why I absolutely love this novel because I really resonate with her she is such a relatable character, she's so realistic, she's complex, and I absolutely love her. There's a little bit of romance, drama, politics, power, all sorts of things that run through this novel that make it so intriguing and interesting to read. I should put out a warning though, if you haven't read this novel, there are some very sensitive topics in here. Um, for example, rape and animal abuse. I realise a lot of people don't want to read about these kind of things in their novels and would probably prefer to stay away from them. So I completely understand. I should note that it's important to read about and talk about these sort of issues, mainly because they're really taboo and it makes it hard for these issues to be resolved in our today's society. So yeah, but an awesome thing about this novel is that it doesn't gloss over those issues, it actually really ties it to the story and it really becomes, because of these issues are commonplace or are really stark in Soraka's life, it's really, it's really a story of healing for Soraka even though she's putting a lot of people's knees above her own. It's really just a process of healing through getting through all these issues, through all these torments that plague her life in helping her brother and it's such, it's so interesting to read. The characters in this novel are really complex, really interesting, you've got some really endearing characters, Red and John for example who are the Britons, um, Soraka's brothers. Um, there's a lot of people that you really root for in this novel and people that you just want to see die. I will say after rereading this novel that the two main antagonists are actually very much fairy tale cutouts. They're quite evil, there's not much complexity to them and although I feel that it detracts from the novel a little bit, it's not that bad mainly because it's told in a first person narrative and there's not really much leeway to really talk about their personalities and how 
complex they are and things like that. Another thing I would like to talk about this novel is the writing. I think this novel was the thing that really paved the way for me to really think about writing, becoming a writer because it's such beautiful lyrical writing. It's got a really magical tone in this. I cannot help but be in awe, be sucked in and it really meshes, a well, meshes well together. The dialogue, the descriptions and I never felt that it was going too slow or too fast. It just was going at the right pace for me and that's what I really aspire to do with my writing that it just all works together very well and it just pulls you into a world. So I hope you enjoyed my review and I'm actually making this all up on the spot. <laughs> I don't really have a script so I'm sorry if I sounded a bit um, wonky at times and not really pushing my point but this is all made up on the go. But I had all the points up in my head, so yeah. So thank you for watching and have a lovely day. See ya.